money choice by the betting public here at the Meadowlands ranges up on the outside at this point, and at about the three-eighths pole, he reaches the lead for driver John Campbell. The big son of Landslide is just chugging along on the front end now, and as you can see, three of the top drivers in the sport, John Campbell in first, Bill O'Donnell in second, and Ron Waples in third, have their mounts in perfect striking position. Bill O'Donnell's driving Casino Gambler, who's sitting in the two slot right now, and Ron Waples has Regent Lobel in third. No challenges to the half in 56 and four, which is a relatively fast half for normal horses, but not for a horse like Run the Table. Here comes Armbro Falcon on the outside with what could only be described as a hopeless mission for Ben Webster to try and put some pressure on Run the Table, but he is very, very handy to this point. He is a very comfortable horse as the field of horses turns for home. 26 and three, and it's Run the Table, the leader at the top of the lane. Run the Table now coming into the final eighth. John Campbell urging him on only mildly. He's doing it all by himself. Then far the back, it's Casino Gambler toward the inside. On the outside, Jigger of Gin. They're coming to the finish. Run the table well within himself. Never had an anxious moment. Here's Run the Table and the time, 153 and 4. And Run the Table was the easiest kind of winner. Following him across the finish line was Casino Gambler in second. Regent Lobel, with good pace on the end of his mile, captured third. The final two spots in the New Jersey Classic went to Jigger of Gin and Nuclear Weapon.